Kia ora, uh, ko si Annalise White tōku ingoa, he uri tēnei nō te arawa waka, nō Ngāti Pikiao, Ngāti Te Tākinga. Uh, kia ora, I'm Sian, I'm a writer, director, actor, and I'm currently based in my hometown of Te Rotorua Nui Akahumata Momoi. From a young age, I loved any type of storytelling. I used to just ask mum to take me to the movies or always want to hog the TV. Um, loved theatre, loved musical theatre, pan pantomime, kapahaka, dance. And I would just always fall deeply into any type of um, story, whether it be film, um, whether it be a, a television show or a live performance. So that's when I sort of knew this was my lane, big time. You one of them blokes? Takes up surfing when they're middle-aged because I think it'll change their lives. I've surfed before. When? It's not the point. Well, kind of is, right at this moment. That car of yours is a lemon. Moving to Wellington for Toy Fikadi was incredible, but it was quite a culture shock for me. Because in Rotorua, we have a 40% Māori demographic. Um, you see Māori everywhere, um, you hear the language everywhere, and it's quite openly expressed our culture um, everywhere you go. In Wellington, I w fell in love with how... Um, Oh, just it felt like an explosion of artistic expression. You know, I, one of the earliest memories I have is that um, seeing that a huge mural on Vivian Street, and I was just sort of like captivated by it. And so I spent three years um, in a love affair, entanglement with Wellington, um, and I met so many lifelong friends and made connections there in contacts and got to really hone my craft as an actor. I've told you before, no patches in my pub. What's that, love? Why are your men following me? What do you want? Hmm, a well cooked tea bone would be nice. One of my boys dropped something in here a duffel bag. That was yours. What was in it? Hmm. <laughs> Drugs. So you give some terrified kid a pile of drugs, send him into my pub, and now you're blaming me. Tender. Much better. Get the fuck out of my pub, Kingy. Now. Ooh, language. I am so interested in seeing complex female characters who are Māori, um, be portrayed, dissected, explored, expressed in deeply intricate, well-layered and well-dimensional, uh, well-dimensioned, I should say, uh, stories. However, recently I've been interested in action, thriller, and the complexities of our Māori men in roles. So I'm still sort of very much so in te ao Māori, but my sense is that as I develop and as I evolve, I will be an artist who, is, who has grown through the whenua of my whakapapa, but who no longer has to sing the song about it anymore because I will always be anchored by it, if that makes sense. So I'll, I'll be able to fly and, I don't know, venture into potentially one day comedy if, I, if I'm ever um, crafty enough to be gifted the opportunity to direct comedy, to direct comedy or, um, I don't know, drama in the States, platform drama on you know, Netflix, Apple, Amazon, um, that has nothing to do with Dao Māori or women or men or it, it's to do with souls on a journey or I don't know otherworldly topics and themes but the point is that I think in this emerging part of my career I'm being um, strongly 
birthed into the world as a creator through my whakapapa and through my roots. And so that's where I am at the moment, where I will be. Kare o te mohio, I don't know. But uh, I hope that I continue to bring hope through my stories and that I stay as true to my voice and my journey as I can. What I'm learning about being a director is it's about creating space. Make sure that the crew respect the process for the actor, um, but also trust your actors. Oh, trust your actors. And if you aren't getting what you need from your actors, you miscast. I think, like, actually now when I watch theatre shows, TV shows or films, and I'm like, oh, that actor's not great, I'm like, well, that's not that actor's fault, actually, because I know that actor has an amazing well of you know, of emotion and um, complexity and nuance to their craft. But, I mean, I'm asking what the director was up to because, like, you know, where were they? Because it's their job to hold the emotional arc of the story. And why was that person cast if the energy isn't right? So, yeah, I just think the job of the director is to hold space for the emotional arc and to create space not only for the cast but for the crew, right, for the production team, for, for everyone around them. They need to be the baton holders for the story. And sometimes in order to do that, you actually need to just <laughs> no poku, kāti, te wai o te waha, and just sit in space and trust. Trust the experience and the quality of your crew and your cast. Thank you, pianist. Coffee! I've seen so many films that have had multi-million dollar budgets with no heart. And I don't think you can buy heart. You can't buy soul, you can't buy true intention and storytelling and you can't for all the money in the world fabricate a good story i don't believe it has to come from within so i think that's where as new zealanders and as makers we definitely have that you know that tongue that gift How the image comes to me, so I'll work with my DP, we'll storyboard and we'll go through hundreds of images until we find the depth of field and the essence and the feel to the shot that I'm looking for in that moment. And then when we get close, I sort of say, yeah, yeah, that's it, it's getting closer. And then we'll sort of play with a little bit of a different um, depth of field or we'll rehearse it. and. Uh, then that's how we sort of discover, yeah, yeah, that's the shot, that's the feeling of the moment that we're wanting to capture. Okay, I'm really grateful that I'm growing in my fluency in film language, the technical side of things, and even the vision boarding, everything like that, director's palette, tone, um, grading, I'm just still so uh, new in that respect, but learning and I love it, I love it. It's all so important and it's all needed to tell a story on screen. The amount of times I was told when I was starting out that I should stick to acting or that I don't cut it as a writer or that actually I don't have the skills it takes to be a director, 
If I had to listen to that, I wouldn't be where I am now. So I'd just say, just take it with a grain of salt. Trust your gut. Oh my gosh, trust your gut and back it 110%. Because at the end of the day, like nobody can do you. No one, no one can tell the stories the way that you do, baby. So just, yeah, keep going, but also chill and like rest and go on a holiday party work at a cafe for a bit it's all good it all contributes at the end of the day you go wherever you need to go and you do whatever you need to do to just fuel you as a person because the more you are fueled and the more experiences you gain outside of the sector or outside of the world of like filmmaking storytelling the more those experiences will inform you and your stories and you know the way you're able to articulate those stories and see the vision clearly 